I have assembled all of the parts necessary here, including uh, four 3,500 pound leaf springs, which will give me 7,000 pounds per axle, along with uh, all new U-bolts. And of course, right there is the new shackle kit. Um, I'm very, very happy with the Moride system. I did not rip go ahead and order a new CRE 3000. I uh, inspected it and it looks just fine, even though uh, at this point I've got more miles on the trailer now than I did have when I replaced the, the stock Equiflex one. So what I've done is I utilized the levelers on the trailer and I uh, basically raised the trailer, its level, to the point where almost all of the weight is off of the suspension. And uh, what I'm gonna do, truck. So I'm gonna do one tire at a time, then I'm gonna use a bottle jack to just basically support the axle uh, on the side that I'm working on at the time. And I'm hoping that that's gonna work out really well. I hope you can see that so what I'm gonna do I got this tire off now the manufacturers always recommend you never jack on the axle and I make a habit of that I'm not gonna be jacking on the axle as you can see it's already uh, the weight of the suspension is off but I'm gonna use a bottle jack underneath the axle centered where the u-bolts are to basically when I want to get everything undone support the axle and then utilize it in order to, uh, you know, fit everything back up where it's supposed to be. Oh, but before we get to that, I'm going to install, uh, take out the Teflon bushings on the, the leaf springs and install the bronze bushings into the eye holes so that that's all ready and good to go. So let's get to that right now. So these, leaf, these brand new leaf springs come with Teflon or plastic bushings in them, which to me is absolutely stupid. But uh, in order to prep these, I'm gonna, I'm gonna knock these out. There we go. And replace them with these, bro these bronze ones. I'm not gonna tap them in because I don't want to potentially mushroom them. Well, we're going to put a little lube on them and we're going to use a C-clamp. We'll just gently press them in. Yeah, and of course using the C-clamp like this is going to eliminate the possibility of pounding them in and mushrooming out the edge. There we go. Actually, I'm going to go a little bit further. And of course, for time on the video, nobody wants to sit and watch me do that eight times. Uh, I'm just gonna, you know, rinse and repeat, and then we'll get back to the install. Well, all right, as I said, rinse and repeat. I got uh, all of those bronze bushings installed in the leaf springs. Let's now endeavor to get the old out and the new in. So I'm gonna need an 11 16th take these uh, these off so this is interesting so as I mentioned uh, before I installed these heavy-duty shackle wet bolts and uh, when you receive those they uh, the bolt itself is knurled and uh, it's it's come the knurling has come out of that that shackle now I bought the whole new kit to because I felt like I probably would just be replacing it all anyway but uh, isn't that interesting that that has popped out of there <laughs> this one over here might be a little bit more difficult to pop out of we're gonna find out Take a look. Safely going, or would you rather I didn't? 
No, you can go in. Well, that bushing looks pretty good, actually. All right, let's get this front off and let's get it disconnected from the axle. I'm gonna have to take off these seven eighths uh, nuts, drop the U-bolts. See if I can't pop this one out. I hope that camera's getting get shot. I want to see what I'm doing. I want you to see what I'm doing. Yeah, that came right out. That was no big deal. All right. Let me go get my punch to punch that out. I can grab onto that with a pair of pliers and yank it off. So remember, I still do have a little bit. I could, I could just jack that up a little bit so it's not done. Uh, it's coming. It's coming. So that that's out of that. Right. I sprayed these nuts a couple of days ago with some WD. Let's see how they do. Would be nice to have my air tools if we were home. gonna be able to get my impact underneath that frame where those are so these are gonna have to be done by hand all right let's see got them enough we can get on it with a ratchet cue music I hope that's in the right angle. Smack with the hammer and have the washers go flying up and hit me in the face and be on me at me that I wasn't wearing safety goggles. There we go. All right, everybody. Now, you should always replace the U bolts when you do a job like this because um, they'll stretch. Um, certainly, I guess, you know, if you're in a bind and you need to reuse them, fine, but uh, I ordered new ones. Because that's the way I was taught. One. Spring. Alright, let's get this a little bit cleaned up. And we'll reassemble. Alright. And with the new. put these on and I'm gonna leave them slight. I'm not gonna totally tighten them up until we get it all back together lock washer and a nut and a lock washer I don't know if you can see what I'm doing over there and 
So I have installed the new U-bolts, making sure that the pins are set. I'm just gonna kind of tighten them down a little bit. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna torque them yet. I don't know where I can put this camera to help you. Maybe up here a little higher right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to hook my grease gun on here and pre-fill it make sure that it's uh, got some good grease in it and then grease that new bushing as well uh, uh, spit it out <laughs> I'm gonna pre-grease that bushing a little bit in there now when I did this before I actually put them in this way thinking that it would be easier for me to be able to uh, uh, lube them up occasionally but uh, I have decided that, yeah, it would actually be easier just to crawl under and lube them from the back. So I'm going to install them this way. The directions say it really doesn't matter. It's uh, only, uh, your choice. There's no right or wrong. Get a little lube on that. Now, it might take a little bit of effort to get it, to get it in. So let's see. We're going to... There we go. All right. We'll come back and torque those in a minute. Now I'll try to get this back one done. Put a little grease in that. Alright, well as you can see, we've got that spring in, so my next step right now is uh, I need to uh, torque down these U-bolts and I need to torque down the new wet bolts. So uh, these are 9 16 U-bolts, uh, spec on them is 100 foot-pounds, uh, more ride says to torque down the wet bolts to 40 pounds, so let's get to it. Set this to 100 foot-pounds. And the wet bolts are 40 pounds. That's it. Well, that's it. So I hope you found this process helpful. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do the other three. Should, uh, shouldn't take me too much longer, and then we'll be good to go. So, I'll see you in a minute. Well, all right, we're on the last one. So it's taken me a total of about, you know, five hours to do the, the entire job. And I'm just about ready to give the final torque on these U-bolts. Interestingly enough, the reason I started this project is because I found a broken, well, a cracked broken spring on this front axle. And when I took this one out, uh, it was broken. Um, I'll show you that in a minute, but let's uh, let's finish up this job. Be glad to get it done. Uh, click. 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 
weg. Weg. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. I'll put a link in the description below for anybody that's interested in the parts. I ordered them off Amazon, so that was easy. Anyways, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please, you know, subscribe and follow Angie Jazz on our journey. Just glad that journey didn't include doing this on the side of the road somewhere. Thanks for watching.